All right, guys, so we're going to go over how to make a super simple 3D logo. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into um, New Composition, and um, you can change the background color if you want. Um, for this, I don't really care what the background color is, so I think I'm just going to leave it black. We'll spice it up a little bit, but it's not going to be that big a deal. So. Once we have our composition, I already have this. I made this logo. Um, it's the Delta Gamma logo. And uh, I just did it in Photoshop real fast. And it is a PNG, so the background is transparent. That's really the only point of this that's really a necessary thing. You can use pretty much anything, but um, transparent background is going to be the number one priority there. All right, so we have our logo here and if you zoom in a little you can see I did put a little bit of beveling on it um, you don't have to have that it'll be fine without it just for this I was using it for another project so I did add some beveling um, that was all done in Photoshop so now we're going to turn this into a 3d logo so I'm going to kind of put a little bit of a background on it real fast we're just going to do a solid we'll just leave it black for this and um, actually over in my effects and presets it's already open uh, so if you type in gradient uh, into the search bar, you'll get this gradient ramp, which is what we're going to use. So black solid, we'll just put that on there. And uh, so this circle up here is really what decides where your um, line is going to be. So we'll just leave it there for right now. Uh, we do want a radial ramp and we want to swap the colors. So we'll do like that. But the white is kind of abrasive, so I'm going to bring it down to maybe like a, like a dark gray. Yeah, I think that's fine. So then whenever we bring this above it, it kind of uh, works as a um, kind of like backlight to the situation. So we're going to leave it like that for right now. The next thing we're going to do is pre-compose this logo. We'll just call this one logo. And then we're going to pre-compose it one more time without going into the composition like that. And this one's just going to be called the 3D logo. All right, now that we have that, we will go into the 3D logo composition. We want to make sure that the 3D element is on. So here's our logo. I'll zoom. We'll do that zoom so that we can see the whole thing. Um, so what we're going to do now is we're going to click on that. We're going to click P for position. And once we go into that, we want to make sure it says separate dimensions. So then you'll hold the Alt key and click on the stopwatch, it's going to bring up the expressions. The expression you want to use is index. And so once you have that, that's all we need right there. And so we'll have index and we can just close all that stuff. So once that's there and your index is set, um, the next thing you want to do is um, take this and we're going to add some color effects. So we'll just go to color correction and um, for this one, I think I'm just going to do brightness and contrast, and we're going to make it darker, and we're going to turn the contrast, uh, we'll turn it down. So it's kind of like this off. This is not the color we want at the end. This is uh, for the 3D aspect. So what we're going to do now is um, we're going to duplicate it. So you can either use um, the key, like if you go up to uh, edit, you'll see that the key on it is control D or you can hit duplicate here. And then we want to just continue the duplication. So I'm just going to hit control D a whole bunch of times. What you want to do is get a bunch of layers of this. Um, so 20, we're probably going to want to go to... Um, I'm going to go to a hundred. Um, and I know that seems like a lot cause it is a lot. Um, 102, that should be fine. All right. So what we're going to do is instead of being in the active camera, which is here, we're going to go to custom view one and it's going to give us this side view. Um, and actually I don't think that's quite enough. So, um, I think I'm going to go and We'll give it a couple more. I just highlighted about 12 there. Um, and then control D two more times. Um, and I think that's, yeah, I like that better. All right, so we're gonna leave it like that. And we'll go back to the active camera. 
So with that, we have all that stuff. Now the uh, next step that we're gonna do is up here you have your effect controls. Um, so we're gonna go to the first one and we're going to click on this effect and we're going to get rid of it. So it's gonna go back to this normal color that we had it. And so we're also gonna go down to the very last one, which is 28, 128 for us. And we're gonna get the, rid of this too. So what happens is now the first and the last do not have that effect. So they're gonna be this color that I originally had it and all of these other ones will. So what's gonna happen is if you go to this custom view, you're gonna see that this creates kind of a shadow on these parts because they are a different color. Um, view, you're gonna have kind of this shadow. So then we go back to the active camera and then after that, we're going to go back to our composition and we want to make sure that we have this, which is our 3D aspect, and we want to make sure that we have this on. So once we have that and everything loads, get this line all the way over there. There we go. Um, we're going to go to our custom view and you're going to see that we have this here. So we can now just decide what we want to do with it. We'll go back to the active camera and everything from here on out is pretty much basic After Effects. Um, so we'll go to the 3D logo and what do we want to do with this logo? We'll go to rotation. Um, so we're going to set a key point or a keyframe. Um, like I said, this is basic After Effects. If you uh, are familiar with After Effects, this shouldn't be from here on out, should just be like working with a 3D object. Um, so we're going to set that keyframe in two seconds. We're going to turn it to here. And then that'll create another keyframe. We'll give it another two seconds. And then we'll turn it back this way. That's fine. Just kind of uh, show the two sides there. So now that we have you know that section the way that we want it, all we're gonna do is we're gonna go into our export and we're going to add it to our render queue and we'll just call this um, Delta Gamma Test and we'll render that. So after you render it out, you're going to have a video like this. So um, we'll play it here. And as you can see, that extra level adds your 3D dimension. And that's all we programmed it for, but you could use whatever you want and you can make it as thick as you want. Um, you don't have to have this kind of blue color. You could make it a gray color. It, really, you could change any of it uh, along the way. Um, this is just what I did. And uh, as you can see, it's pretty easy. The longest part is going to be what it takes to render. Um, the shorter your video and the uh, uh, less detailed your video is, the faster to render, but that's just basic After Effects stuff. Um, so I hope this was helpful to someone, and uh, thanks for watching.